Deftones, Prayers Triangles, Guitar Tabs, and Guitar Lesson. I'll play all the different sections right at the start. Afterwards, go back through, give all the explanation for everything. Please hit that subscription button. It's the best way of letting me know that you enjoy this video and want to see me do more like it. And now, let's get on into the lesson. Okay, so we can make this one work with the drop C tuning. Get everything we need there. And initially, we start off with this cool uh, echoey uh, reverse arpeggio, I guess you would call it. Um, starting way up here, uh, it's all part of like a B flat minor 9 chord. And we'll be way up here, start on the 10 of the first string. Then we go 11 second string, 12 on the third, 13 on the fourth string, and the first time through we go to 12. All right, and the only thing that changes is that after the second and third time we do it, you know, we go to our 12 at the end, but then we keep going and we go to 10. Okay, so that happens the second and third time through. And the fourth time through, uh, we kind of just do like the first time through, where we just go to the 12 and we just stay on the 12. And you want to get about a 400 millisecond delay on that. It's kind of that, uh, you know, like sex tape, rosemary delay that happens there. So right about there should be good. Okay, so the chorus gets uh, pretty interesting. The arrangement I have here is kind of a, a big conglomerate uh, blend of, you know, what the bass is doing. Because the bass really is carrying uh, the progression of the chorus. And everyone else is just kind of playing... Uh, you know, parts of the chords or voicings uh, in different spots. Um, it can be a bit of a stretch here. Uh, we start uh, with this big uh, E flat sus2 chord, which isn't a big deal. We're just barring the threes, and then we add the five on the uh, fourth and third string there. All right, but at this point, it gets a little bit tricky because we want to keep the next bass note, which is uh, down here at the first fret, the D flat. Like, we want that bass note in there. Um, so we can either do this where, uh, we keep our kind of power chord shape there on the third of the fifth string and, you know, keep our fives on the fourth and third string there. And then we just come over and hit that first fret bass note. Uh, you can do that. If it's too much of a stretch, then you can either, you know, put a capo on the first fret and, you know, let it, let that hit the first fret while we're hitting our, uh, you know, power chord there. You can either do that if that helps, um, or if you just have, you know, big hands, you can make it work that way. Uh, but after that, after that D flat six chord, which it, it turns into, uh, we come up high now at the fifth fret, and we just hit the f five on the, the sixth and the fifth string here, and then we add this uh, minor seven shape on top of it, which is basically a on the eight on the fourth string, seven on the third string, and the six 
on the second string. Okay, so we get our F minor seven there, and then we finish it with the fourth chord, which is down here at the first fret, and we just bar the ones on the sixth, fifth, and fourth string, making that power chord, and then just add threes on the third and second string for you know a big D flat major seven no third chord to be technical. So just those four chords, uh, kind of some different methods if you want to try it. All right, the bridge gets a little more straightforward, just kind of doing some power chord stuff here, uh, where we just do three chords initially that we repeat a few times. Um, B flat power chord at the three on the fifth string with the fives on the D and G there. Hit that, then we drop it down two at the one and the threes for the A flat power chord, and then up to the five and the sevens for that C power chord. And we just repeat those uh, technically four times, but at the abrupt end of the fourth time, we jump up and hit fives on the six, five, and fourth string there for that F power chord, and this kind of kicks into the next section of the bridge. We're, uh, we're playing around with that, and we can even strum in some, uh, some of those minor sevens from the chorus that we had with that, that eight, seven, six, and uh, just bounce between those a handful of times and then after say the fourth time we do this sixth fret on the low C here the sixth string and then just come right back to it and just repeat it from there And then just to cap it all off at the very end, we just do those three initial chords from the first part of the bridge and just let the, you know, that final chord ring. Thanks for checking out the video, everybody. Like it, share it, leave a comment. It's always good to hear from you. Um, do me a favor and hit the subscription button. I put out a video pretty frequent, so you don't want to miss out on that. Uh, check out the links in the description box below. I have really cool links for uh, tablature books, all the gear I use, t-shirts, fun stuff like that. So thank you very much, and we'll see you next time.